have talked. You, you shouldn't have talked. Bite his nose. Right off. Don't get the bite my nose. You don't get the bite my nose. Bite his nose right off. I'll scratch your chin. I'll scratch your chin. There. Mm. Don't fall for mm. it. Don't fall for it. Anything for a skin, chin scratch. Mm. Don't fall for it. I'll scratch your ears. No? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Did I stop? <laughs> I stopped. Scratch your ears, scratch your ears, scratch your ears. Good morning, neighborhood community. Morning. Hope everybody's having a lovely Thursday. Sorry, buddy. I stopped scratching. Boomer is. He's enjoying being rubbed and hugged and kissed and wanting to bite everybody's noses. Just yours. Yeah, well, he doesn't get to bite my nose. So, so anyway, we're just chilling. Kevin's got some stuff to do on the computer today, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. I was going to do that. Uh, right, Boomer? If Boomer let me... Uh, I'm going to look uh, if, how to if I can sell my truck. Basically, okay. I need All the right. money. And uh, I'm going to color. You are. I haven't colored in a long time. At least 15 minutes. No, I stopped coloring at about this time last night. Wow. So about 12 hours. Oh, did you hear that, Boomer? Did you believe that? I'm having withdrawals. Okay. All right, so I just spent probably the majority of the morning and the afternoon on the computer looking up what I can do as far as business ideas, um, just bringing in money, things like that. Uh, we always end up running into uh, roadblocks. I think, uh, I think nobody wants anybody to actually start a business because it's so hard to do. So here are the things that um, I'm, I'm looking at doing. This, my truck. I love my truck, but it's a six-cylinder. I went to a lot of trouble to make sure it wasn't anything bigger than a six-cylinder because I didn't need anything bigger. It's just going to uh, haul some stuff. It cost me about $18,000 about four years ago. I looked on Kelly Blue Book, and it, it's I could probably get $9,000 for it now, so about half of what I paid for it. Um, and if I do that, then I have some money to uh, fix some problems here at the house, like the air conditioner. We're still dying. It's in the, it's almost August. It's probably going to become some of the hottest uh, times right now. Uh, a thousand of that would go to the air conditioner. Also, if I end up having to sell the house, that needs to be working. Now, I still have the same problems with the truck. Why well, I didn't sell it the last time, because it has those uh, tire sensors that I was never able to resolve. So uh, it's got two new sensors, two of them don't work. Um, it costs, it'll cost me maybe another $250 to replace the sensors. Now the tires need to be replaced as well. They were good tires five years ago, but now they've, uh, they're worn down. So we're looking at $600 to replace tires. Is it worth it or uh, take the hit on the sale? Probably just take the hit because to me that doesn't make any sense to do that. Now, I could start driving for Lyft again. Um, I, I could probably pick up a, a late model Prius 20, uh, to 05 to 010, about $6,000. It would give me about $3,000 left over to work with. And then I can start working immediately. Now that I know I can do. I can't make any money off the truck. It, takes too, it uses too much gas. And people don't like being picked up in trucks. I think it's not a great ride for them, and I think trucks scare people, especially when you're being picked up by a, you know, uh, a bearded old man like me. So a nice, 
nice car would be would be better. Other thing is, I applied for a business license for a handyman uh, in the county of Riverside, and um, we have problems with that as usual. First of all, we kind of talk about it, but you cannot do a job for more than five hundred dollars um, without a contractor's license. So, contractor's license costs too much money. I can't afford a contractor's license. You also have to have a good four years of experience before you can apply for a contractor's license. I can get around some of that because I actually have a degree in construction um, and the certificate in the um, uh, millwork technology. I'm sure that will uh, shave off a year or two, but I uh, otherwise I do have experience as a cabinet maker, but that's almost 30 years old. So I don't know if I'm going to apply that in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so I'm looking at a contractor's license down the line. Also, I would have to buy insurance and other things as well. That uh, maybe fifteen dollars, fifteen thousand to a hundred thousand dollars in uh, insurance, which makes sense if we're doing a big job, anything over five hundred dollars. Now the stuff that Dave and I are working on is still. It's still too far away to uh, to you know bank on. I have to have income now, so that those business things need to be worked on um, for the future. Uh, other things that I've looked at because we were looking at moving to either uh, New Hampshire or Connecticut. Uh, in Connecticut, you can do a, a job up to a thousand dollars without having to uh, uh, get a contractor's license. And in New Hampshire, it doesn't seem to have any kind of licensing for handyman. So I still have to look into that, but it looks like that's not an issue. However, there's oh, there's just not enough people in New Hampshire. So we'll have to see that. That would mean selling the house and coming up with the... Uh, what we originally wanted to do was to buy a uh, rental uh, unit, uh, apartment type complex. Um, there's quite a few of them in Connecticut. Um, built around the 20s, three-story walk-ups. You can get them for like $100,000. We're not sure if we can clear $100,000 after all the bills in this house. So we'd be going out there blind. And I'd still not have any income. So those are the things that we're looking at right now. Just turning off our air conditioner to do our closing, it's like... 10 degrees difference just from turning it off, I swear. <laughs> it's so hot. It's crazy. Um, we're going to, I'm going to film my colorings this weekend for you guys to all see. Um, my books, I, I can't fill it. Every time I try and I get close to filling it, somebody wants this picture or that picture or several pictures and then I have to color more to fill the book again. So I'm just going to do it this weekend and go from there. So we're going to do that. Um, Kevin did a lot on the computer today and filled out a lot of paperwork. Um, looked yeah. into selling the truck. Yep. Looking to, into buying a gas efficient car mm -hmm. and um, if I manage to sell the truck then uh, I think the first thing we want to do is get that air conditioner working yeah so definitely and uh, then I could do start doing stuff yeah I applied for a business license for the handyman service which I'm not allowed to uh, advertise yep so <laughs> All word of mouth, so. All has to be word of mouth. Because I don't have a license, or a contractor's license. Yep. So. All of you guys, spread the word. <laughs> What's the word? Handyman! <laughs> the bird is the word. No, handyman's the word. Bird, bird, bird. Bird, bird. <laughs> Anyway, I think we're going to go ahead and call it an evening. We uh, are going to put a movie on, and I'm going to color, of course. 
So that's about it for tonight. We hope you enjoyed a little bit of something that you may have seen in our video today. If you did, please give us a favorite. Share our video with your family and friends. Please leave us a comment. But most of all, please subscribe. And we will see you guys all tomorrow. Ta-ta for now. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Come on. Get out here and say goodbye. Get out here. Look at Daddy and say goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>